Hello Explorers, thanks for joining us again and welcome back to another exciting and informative video on our YouTube channel. If you are joining us for the first time, we want to thank you for watching. In this episode, we shall be looking on how the country of France has lost its economic grip on West Africa. We will explore this like never before seen. We shall dive into the specifics as to the reason why the country of France has become a lot concerned as with regards to its position and influence in the region. So without any more delay, let's just dive straight into it. France is under fire in parts of West Africa for its alleged stronghold on the continent's economy. Anti-French sentiment in Mali has spread to Burkina Faso, where opinion leaders accuse the former colony power of profiteering. In fact, the French economic presence is in decline with regards to specifics. Close to a third of Africa's countries have been under French control at some point in their history. This has a strong impact in cultural, military, economic affairs and lots of others. But 60 years after independence, France is no longer the dominant power in this particular region. The decline began in the early 2000s and over the last two decades, France has been stripped of its title as the continent's leading supplier and investor. While French exports to Africa have significantly increased, their overall value has halved between 2000 and 2001 based on figures. This is largely due to the surge in demand from African consumers which has increased fourfold and the emergence of new competitors like China, Russia, also Turkey, the United States and other countries like Germany and also the Netherlands and a lot of other countries who are vying for position in growth and development and investment in infrastructure in the continent. Africa is not up for grabs. However, the African countries have opened their borders for doing business. China began eating into France's market share in early 2000 and overtook it in 2007. China now has over 17% of the African market, three times more than France. If you look at different specifics on looking at the shifting African partnership with regards to the operations and things happening in the region. Five years ago, German overtook France as Europe's leading supplier to Africa. In terms of investment in the continent of Africa, the Netherlands is now in the poor position, partly because many multinationals choose to register their headquarters there to benefit from lower corporation tax. A closer look at France's foreign trade figures reveal that its main African partners no longer come from the future French-speaking West African regions. These countries count for less than 1% of France's market share. France's top African trading partners are Morocco, Algeria and Tunisia, followed by English-speaking Nigeria and South Africa. The question here is that France is really sliding in the ranking. So why is anti-French sentiment growing in parts of West Africa and when the French economic presence on the continent overall is slipping? This is the question that we are looking at here. Although the West African region accounts for a little of France's foreign trade, France is still the leading European supplier. More generally, accusations that France has too much control reflects multiple grievances that are not always related to the economy. With regards to this, according to the annual African Lead Survey of African leaders conducted by the French Employer Association, known as CIAN, France's image deteriorating year on year in the continent of Africa. France ranks sixth in the list of most appreciated non-African countries for behind the top three, the United States, Germany and Canada. In the ranking of countries deemed most beneficial to Africa, France is ninth, just behind Turkey and the United Arab Emirates. Once again, the US, China and Germany are at the top. If you are new to this channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos with your different network. The question here is that France is struggling to correct this image deficit which has impacted its trade and development in the African continent. Africa is not what it used to be in the, in the past. Africa has transformed. Africa is open for business. France is undertaking a series of political initiatives to climb back on its ranking that it were before. They include a summit on financing African economies in several ways, coming into partnership, encouraging French companies to go and also invest in infrastructure across the continent. During the last African-France summit in Montpellier, the government targeted influencers and semi-medium-sized enterprises in hope of getting new leaders of opinion on board to shape the France's policy. 
French authorities are also organizing regular meetings between French and African business leaders to strengthen economic ties. France has ignored the continent in several ways in terms of growth and opportunities and development. The United States and other European countries have beginning to realize that the decline in France in the region, the Netherlands, Germany and other countries are beginning to register their businesses in the continent. France's position has really declined in recent years and the country of France is struggling at the moment to also revamp its image in terms of business and development and infrastructural growth. If you consider the French-speaking West African countries, they're beginning to align their relationship with China in several ways. China has invested a lot of money in those countries and in terms of growth and development, it has entangled most of those West African countries in terms of debts and other things. However, it's so important to recognize that most people in those regions would consider having a better constructed bridge and road and a dam that will provide uh, basic facilities and utilities to the people of the region than a country that will come in to talk about politics and rapprochement. African countries are not what they used to be before. They have transformed in terms of their perspectives, in their operations. Africa has more opportunities and Africa is looking to do business with those countries that are open to do business with them. However, despite all of these challenges, France still have a significant presence in those regions. Despite those difficulties, we were looking at how France will grab in moving into 2023 to see how we can revamp its image. However, China, the United States, Germany, all of these countries are vying for position in Africa and we are looking to see how France can reshape itself again. However, this continuous decline will increase if French government does not take a very important step. I want to thank you for watching. If you are coming from one of those countries that you think France has huge influence in your region, let us know what you think. If you think that there are things that France can do to shape its personal uh, image in the continent, we would like to hear from you. I want to thank you for watching the Explorer. We are looking forward to meeting you again in our next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.